All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first interview for like the first ever time I'm going to hear my opponent speak. Basically, uh, he did a, uh, a pretty damn decent long interview with Fred Talks Fighting, which, by the way, I did one yesterday with the boy in person. So that will be out probably, probably by the time you're watching this. But no, who cares about me? All right, my opponent has done an interview with Fred and it would be nice to get a little bit of insight. I got, I got no idea about him. I don't know what route he's going to go down during this fight uh, well, yeah, in terms of the week. Is he going to trash talk? Is he going to be nice and blah, blah, So this interview will actually be quite a good indication of that. I've obviously not watched it. I wanted to react to it and give my authentic reaction live. So without further ado. Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined over Zoom by Danny Simpson. Danny, I do appreciate you taking the time out Great name. of your day to Great talk name. to me. How's life with you? Yeah, I'm all good. Thanks for having me on. How are you doing? I'm all good. No, everything's going well. What, my didn't realise you had that accent. For the Dublin show at the end of this month. But you're fighting Danny Aarons now. Yeah! How did this solution come around? Yeah! Um, yeah. Um, literally got um, basically a message and a phone call off, off Mums. Obviously, Mums Taylor would have been about three and a half, maybe four weeks ago now. Um, and just said someone has dropped out, which was obviously, as I now know, was Bebo. <laughs> um, the fact he knows Bevo. In stepping in. The fact yeah, he knows like, Bevo. Like boxing, which I've always liked boxing. Um, what a fancy. And obviously, I had, I had a couple of days thinking, you know, is it? I know I was a bit unfit. I've been having, you know, been on my summer holidays, been away, a bit overweight. And then I just thought, Do you know what? It's a, it's it's a challenge, and it's something that I, I think I needed at the time. Fair enough. Fair play. Um, yeah, I got in a gym maybe a few days later, and. I've just been, yeah, trying to get work hard and, and get ready for it ever since, really, and just excited to try something new. Fair enough. Good answer. Have you had any, pre have you had any previous boxing experience at all? Did you box when you're younger? Is it, or was it just brand new for yourself? Uh, brand new. <laughs> Literally, like, yeah. uh, the things obviously I've learned already in, like, the few weeks. Uh, you know, uh, kind of... Hey, I'm not going to call him a liar. I'm not, I'm not going to call him a liar. But I swear there was, like, a news article... That said, like now, obviously, I'm. I'll take his word more than um, you know, more than a, a news article. But, but I swear it said, bro, was training for like four years or whatever. I get, uh, hey, I'll take his word for it more than a random news article. But it's very typical for like boxers, uh, for footballers on like the off season to do like boxing. Like you see it all the time. I think Liverpool was a good example. You see it all the time where footballers like they're not like boxing, like sparring and that, but. Definitely like pad work. So, hey, I'd be very surprised if this man hasn't hit pads for, you know, in the in the years he was an, a footballer off season. But, hey, if he says three weeks, then fine. I'll, I'll take his word for it, I guess. But we'll see. Uh, blew my mind, really, how how difficult it is. And, you know, I've got a lot, like, just the respect levels for anyone I've known before. I've got mates that I've not really took serious that don't realise what they put themselves through and how technical it is and how skillful it is. Um, what they do so yeah honestly i was probably a little bit naive to um i said how difficult it is to learn and fair enough know. It's, fair enough i said i love boxing but then once you actually get in with pro boxers and you see what they're doing it's when you get actually really get to see how you know what what you know what they put themselves through and which gym are you training at um so i'm uh at Moston and Collierst. Oh wait, 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 wait! So that is that with uh, Pat oh, Barrett? Fred loves it. Yeah. Fred wow, is loving that's it. That's crazy. I mean, you, I've known him. I've known Pat for years now. I don't know if he'll oh, remember yeah. me or not. I say I know him. I don't know if he'll remember me, but I've interviewed Pat a few times. So you know, like yourself, a Barrett in the gym, Lyndon Arthur. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's a couple of other names. Fred is you. proper in there, by the way. Fred is in there. He <laughs> knows <laughs> everything, mate. <laughs> no, I used to, I used to live in Manchester, but I interviewed them. Uh, I interviewed them a few times on Zoom, and yeah, no, they're all really, really good people up there. How's Pat Barrett? Yeah. How's Pat Barrett training with him? He's very, uh, very full on, very strict. Yeah, listen, he's, he's old school, <laughs> but no, he's um, so basically, Link is that he's funny because he grew up with my dad, Pat, Pat, and my dad, they grew up together. Um, so I've knew of Pat, but not like I do now, obviously, with the training, but yeah, he's he's, he's tough, <laughs> he's put me through. His paces, but no, it's, I'm kind of old school anyway, like with the football stuff. And you know, when I was at United and you know, the way you know, it's clean and stuff like that, with like you know, Roy was he there with uh, Sir Alex Ferguson? Kid, so. 
feels like that's that not a bad when, manager to have you know he's on my case he's telling me you know what to do and now it's like i said and linden has been in class with me and and Zelfa obviously and even the rest of the boys you know watching what they do every day it's, and uh, their work it's been honestly it's been three weeks mate i've honestly it's changed it's changed my life already just because like i said just getting back into training and re routine and regime and you sparred yet yeah i sparred a few times now yeah it's I don't think anything can prepare you to getting punched, but in the face. But listen, yeah, it's part of it. And I'm interesting. It. Listen, I'm, interesting. I'm, listen, I'm obviously I was a footballer. I'm not a boxer, so uh, I've got that dedication, determination. I want to. I learn. I listen. Um, and yeah, I've been in with some of the boys, and yeah, we've we've had a few little scraps, which has been good. Do you see similarities in boxing and football in terms of just the discipline, the schedule? And like running early in the morning, the fitness side of things. Is it kind of nice to get back into the, the sports side of things, being the athlete? Um, yeah, it is because, listen, like anything, if people know with football, like, when you, I've not really played now for two years and you, have, you, miss, you miss the lads as well. I'll tell that in a minute. I miss, like I said, having a routine, being kind of told what to do. Um, and then when you're not, you know, when you're in bit, get a bit lost sometimes not sure what to do so that's what boxing even though it's only been three or four weeks it's given me that already that structure but even like i said to the lads like i was obviously used to being in a team for like 20 years and obviously boxing i thought was like obviously it's an individual sport but like to go in the gym with the lads i feel like it's football like that again because you're I hear together that. pushing each other I do and hear that, you know. so, you've got all the camaraderie again basically yeah like it's i didn't i was a bit naive i didn't think it was like that but as soon as i've gone in the lads have they've accepted me and and and, and like i said and it's you just feel part of their little team i don't know they've been together and i've always walked in but it just feels like that again and when you stop playing football you, that is one thing that like well i've missed anyway definitely Okay, no, that's nice. It's nice to hear that uh, obviously boxing can be quite lonely at times, so it's nice that you've got a, a good team around you. But you're fighting Danny Aarons. What do you know about Here Danny? Here we go. Have you seen him his boxing footage? What do you make of his skills? No, I've, only, no, I've seen one little bit. I've not seen, I don't think he's put much up, but all hey. I know really is that he's um, obviously he's known about it since maybe February. Um, yeah, fair. And, and obviously, no, obviously, over the time, he's got himself into a really good shape because obviously he wasn't, which is credit to him. Well, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, no, obviously, I know, I've obviously, I've seen his Instagram and he's obviously with all that and what he's doing in YouTube and obviously he's done great. But in terms of him, how he fights, or how he trains, I've not, I've not seen anything yet. Good. It'll just be all good. We'll, we'll see on the night. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Did you see his recent black eye? What black eye? I did it's see It's gone. That. Nah, it's yeah, gone. It's gone. Um, I don't know. Obviously, that's from sparring, yeah. Um, it looked a bit, it looked a bit nasty. That uh, I think I got a few lips, but nothing in my eyes yet. So no, he's obviously, he's obviously sparring. He's obviously giving it a proper go. So yeah, he's. I think that was the other day, wasn't it? So um, yeah, we've got we've got two weeks today, isn't it? Now till we fight. So we'll yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how it is when when we get there. Fair enough. Now. Fair enough. No, sir, I like. How do you reckon I'll go though? In your so, I like this route. I like this. I don't like all the, the all the all the fake trash talk. This is nice. I like this. Okay, it's nice. Very, very early days, and it's a cliche to ask how do you reckon it plays out. But in your mind now, how do you reckon it goes with Danny on the thirty first? Listen, everyone that goes into a fight is going to be there saying, "Listen, you don't you don't go in think you go you go in thinking you're going to win, and and that's what you got to visualize." Um, like I said, we've got two people there that, yes, I've obviously been an athlete, but, you know, sort of like fighting and boxing, I think for me are two different things. So I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, he, obviously I know he's had a bit longer. Uh, I back myself. I'm sure he's backing himself. Let's do it. Um, Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, we're going in. And it's getting me hype. Team and it's fun. And I hope that um, people enjoy it. Because that's, of what, course, that's man. what they want. They so will. They will. They will. I'm going to back myself and, and hopefully try and, and take him out. Do you get a prediction from you? Are you thinking a stoppage win in your mind? Um. Yeah, no, look, I think I've just been focused on back to me at the moment. I think nearer the time, still got a couple of weeks, nearer the time, I'm going to, I'll probably try and give a prediction. But at the minute, I'm just, I don't want to say too much. I'm going to keep it on my chest because I'm, on my nice little journey with it at the moment with Pat and with the team. 
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm going in to win, obviously, and uh, and have a bit of fun. And look, look, I'm going to be walking out to what is it, thirteen thousand? I think will be there. Yeah, around that. It's pretty much so. Uh, like, okay. uh, we'll sell out. Uh, uh, everyone, everyone's saying that. Like, obviously, football walking out to like different stadiums, Wembley, Old Trafford, and stuff. But I think you know, from the box, and I said, when you walk out there, when you're going and you know, ready it's to walk man. into the ring, it's it'll different. be just some crazy experience. So. That's what I've missed, and that having that feeling of anxiety and excitement and bit of nerves, and that's all I'm where I am at the moment with the training. So near the time, I'll give you a bit more of an update of what. I've Fair enough. Think. Fair enough. You're gonna right now. You're like, oh, okay. I quite like doing the uh, the interviews. By the time you get a fight week, you'll be like, Fred, no more interviews because my amount of media <laughs> that we kind of cover in the event because it'll be quite big. But uh, is this a one time thing for you? Do you look to box more in the future? No, look, because I think. I didn't. I've, I'm surprised at how much. I know it's I even though it's tough, difficult, you know, the training and. But I think I didn't realize how much I've enjoyed it. So what you know, I'm hoping that I'm gonna keep training because I'm actually loving learning actually out of box and the skills and everything. I'm learning something new every day, which is what is what I am like. You know, I've always been a little grafter, so to speak. So, I think. I will, I, carry, I will carry this on uh, just for my mental health and just for life in general. And like I said, being part of a round of a team. So, nice and hopefully this goes okay and I continue it. And look, I've had what three or four weeks it would have been, I would have had, you know. So, the thought of maybe having 10 or 12 weeks, um, you know, it excites me. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. What about okay. you versus Rio Ferdinand? Rio used to do a lot of boxing back in the day about. Three four years ago, well that card. Yeah, yeah listen, I know Rio. I'm not gonna call Rio out. Um, nah, he's a bit bigger than me. Um, obviously we used to play together. Um, I know he get, I know he tried it. I've actually seen some of the clips actually, but listen, no, I think it'll be interesting to see. You know, if people when they see that that night, if I hope comes out and starts calling me out. That's what. I I, was... I hope this is the start of like a new movement. Of like ex footballers getting into it. I think I think Danny Simpson may have started like a new movement. Hopefully, like imagine just you see all these like retired footballers get on misfits. I think this is this could be the start. It's like sick, man. See, I used to. I'm all, I'm a boxing fan, so I used to love all that. So I'm looking forward to seeing if anyone's looking at this that's not piped up yet, thinking, oh, I'd love to fight Danny Simpson uh, after they, they see what happens there. Eh? You'll get a few footballers come out from the pub after watching the fight. And then they start tweeting and they wake up the next morning and they're like, sugar. Maybe I should sugar. Do that. So I'm sure we're like yeah, a few people. Bless I know Fred, Rooney's man. always been tempted. So we'll Rooney see if he ever so fights. Good. But um, before yeah. we wrap this up, anything else come up for yourself? Anything cool? No, nah, like I said, it's just because cause I feel like, um, because I feel like obviously I'm trying to cram everything in in this short window before this fight. Just trying to just do as much as I can. Um, I think me. I think me and Danny will be meeting actually. Yes. Uh, don't obviously you put yeah. it out. Don't it's not hundred percent, but I think we might be meeting and doing something for for the promo this week. Next week in London. But this week so now, it's this we'll week now. Meet for, for face to face or face off, some kind of thing like that. Yes, sir. Um, so that'll be next week in and around the training. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. Yeah. Well, I can imagine hey. the produce be a face off. We you... boys, there we go. No, that's good. That's, that's, that's excited me even more. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys again soon. Peace.